Greetings from the past, my fellow time travelers, and welcome back to a new episode of Stardew Valley. And today is the Queen of Stars on the run again. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Stars, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish is omelette. This is such a simple dish, but so often done incorrectly. A perfect omelette is a thing of beauty. It's a pure gold angel of gleaming at, and I'm showing to show you my secret method. You learned omelette. Yay! Thank you very much. So, it's the last day of spring! Ty, flip this letter over for instructions on how to make a super healthy meal. You feel energized, see you soon, wrap plate. Thank you, Emily. So, let's go down and see what our crops are offering for us today. Sadly, nothing. The strawberries are going to die tomorrow and also the beans are going to die tomorrow so I'm going to remove them today to save some energy because we are going to need the energy tomorrow. Well, strawberries, you are goners too. The ancient fruit of course stays and the two coffee beans because they stay over the summer. That's the only reason why I've planted them now and not later on. Well, I hope our luck is... Oh, we have a good luck day! That's nice for the mine later on. And here, give you some love, my darling. And moving on. So, the copper bar is also ready. I'm always farming some bars when I'm off screen, so... If you're wondering where do I get all the bars from every time I'm done with all stuff and I have no energy left. I just stay there and farm it up. But I mean, I use the time speed mod to do it faster so I don't waste time because recording set really. Oh, by the way, <clears throat> my time was frozen. Sometimes this happens. If I go to sleep and I have time for mod on, it freezes. Uh, Sometimes, not always, but sometimes. And there are worms and a lot of things to forage. Give me that. Yeah, what I was about to say, sometimes the time freeze mod is buggy, but I must say, at the beginning when I first discovered the mod, it was really often that it bugged and got frozen or froze some NPCs. But the new versions are really well made and it's so rarely that it fr uh, froze that it's frozen or something like that. So I really must say well made guys, whoever made this mod, it's amazing. You did a really good job on that one. Keep it up and I hope I see your time freeze mod in the futures too when I'm playing and updating my SMAPI or other stuff. So I I'm excited what you are going to make in the future. Also, I don't know if I've told you, I'm going to do Stardew Valley nods forever. I'm going to do as much as I can, as long as I can, as... I try to record every single thing which is interesting. All this off-screen farming I cut up because it's just always the same and every day the same. But someday there isn't much more to do. I'm going to play Harvest Harvest Moon, yeah. I'm going to play Stardew Valley private and off screen only for my pleasure. And if I'm going to build larger stuff or better stuff, I'm going to show it to you or show you the progress on my farm. But I'm not going to do this let's play forever because it takes forever. And I think it's going to be boring for you guys if I would just show you every single thing I, I'm making. I mean, if I discover... Oh, wrong thing. If I discover new stuff, I'm sure going to show you everything. If I build new stuff, if there's a cutscene, you're going to see that eventually, but it's not coming on a daily base. I mean, I don't think that's going to happen in the near future, but I'm just telling you right now so you're not... Like wondering, where's Stardew Valley? Why don't you upload and this and that and ha da 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 da? Just be prepared that there are other games out there I love to play who are 
kind of similar to Stardew Valley, like Yonder, for example. It came out recently and I'm really pumped to play it, but if I knew it sooner, maybe I would have started with Yonder and not with Stardew Valley right, right now. But I think this is the next game I'm going to do instead of Stardew Valley. And also, there is Slime Ranger out there, which I would love to try out. I saw some let's plays from my favorite YouTubers like Jacksepticeye for example or some other people and I think it looks amazing and really really cute and I also stopped looking up the let's plays because I was just curious how it would be if I played blind and stuff so I'm really excited to see stuff like that and also about the Undertale Pacifist and Genocide run, which is going to happen some day after the neutral run. I just finished recording Undertale, so it's sadly going to end next week. But I'm doing the true Pacifist run right away, so stay tuned for that, you're not going to miss it. And the Genocide run is another thing, because I don't have that much time as I told you I'm going to be in school and I don't think I can fit the whole grinding stuff into my time schedule on the weekends because it's pretty 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 hard and everything to make it on time and render everything properly and upload it before I re really need to go again to my school so I hope you don't mind if I do the Chinasan run somewhere in the future and I have also some things planned for the genocide runs, so I don't have the things or the skills yet to do that. So maybe it's taking a long time until I do the genocide run, but I'm lucky. If, uh, I'm really happy if I don't need to do him right now because I love the characters and I don't want to kill them. I loved him to death. Why must I kill them? That's so sad. And yeah, so I think. I don't know what I'm going to play next. There are two games I really want to play. One of them is Oriental Blind Forest and the other one is To the Moon. And I think I'm going to play To the Moon first because I told a friend of mine that I'm going to play it and I showed it to her. Greetings out there, just uh, wondrous. So I think I'm going to start with that and after that I'm going to start with Orient Blind first because a good friend of mine um, suggested the game to me and uh, that I should make a let's play out of it. And he even brought me a t-shirt from the Gamescom with Ori! Yay! Thank you so much! So... They do s do 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 do. Those two games are coming in the future so I hope you're happy with them. Those are awesome games. They have a really good story, really good graphics and I just love them. To the Moon I played once, twice and it's just amazing. I saw it on Gronk's channel. It's a, he's, a, he's the biggest German YouTuber for those who don't know who he is out there in the world and I also saw it, I think the first time I saw it was actually on PewDiePie's channel. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think he played it too. It's been a long time since I've, I saw it on, on his channel. But back in the days I just hadn't enough money to buy all the games I wanted to buy and so I needed to tell whole less players to look up stuff if I want to buy it or if there's any chance that I won't buy it and just look through the story but To The Moon was such an amazing game even though I knew the whole story already I bought it and played it again after one or two years and it was just amazing the music is so pretty the story is so 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 emotional and I think I'm going to cry like Beyond Eyes last episode. Click over there if you want to see it so you don't miss it. <laughs> On the little info card. Oh, cuts in with Robin. Hello. Hey Ty, I was just cleaning some dust off my saw. Have you ever made anything of wood Ty? Yeah, sure. Tuppers, for example. Great! Then this blueprint should be a piece of cake for you! 
I think we've become good f enough friends. Become good enough friends that I can trust you with my carpenter secrets. Here, let me show you the blue blueprint. Blue blueprint. <laughs> Learn how to craft flute block and drum block. Arigato! You can use this to get cre creative on your farm. It feels good to be able to decorate your house with things you've made yourself. That's true. That's true. So we have a new crafting recipe. Whoa, whoa. Flute block, drum, drop, drum, drop, drum block. Jeez. I can't talk properly today. I don't know why. Well, even if I can talk properly today, this episode is sadly over because I'm running out of time. <laughs> So guys, thank you so much for watching, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the future. High five!